he says, through a picture displayed on MSNBC, I discovered that today is the Festival of Lights, Diwali, in India. Yes, it's Diwali time. In some parts of India, <coughs> it is, <coughs> excuse me, it's a celebration of Mother Kali and Ganesh. Perhaps you could again tell us something about this. It seems a beautiful celebration. Yeah, the Festival of Lights. <clears throat> you have the nine-day festival where Durga is honored, Kali is honored. <clears throat> Durga is the one that fights all the negativity. Kali is the one that gets rid of ego directly. Okay, the greatest of the demons is ego. Okay. So that's what basically the Festival of Light represents. It represents that wisdom and the path and how to break through these things, the light of that, and the light of freedom that comes when you finally do break through. Okay, that's what it represents. <clears throat> One puts light in Diwali time all around the house, in every corner of the house, every space of the house, you have lights. You go out to the Ganges and you float a light on the Ganges with your prayers for the year. Okay, it's like a new beginning. Diwali is like the New Year celebration there. You get a new set of clothes. You're supposed to start fresh from that point. So it's an opportunity, again, to go towards the light, to honor the light, to clean up your lives. Let's bring light in rather than focusing on the negative, okay? Rather than creating and focusing and gravitating towards what they call the demonic realms of anger and hate or <clears throat> jealousy or envy or any of these things, okay? They also do a lot of times a Lakshmi puja. Oh, give me the wealth. I want the wealth. Well, it's not about physical wealth. One is to find the wealth within, the wealth of life, the wealth of the spiritual path. Okay? Not physical wealth. Oh, God, I'm going to give X amount of dollars now, you know, multiply it tenfold. You know, no. Give me a son. I want to puja, give me a son. I don't want daughters. Give me sons that are going to enhance my family. That's not what it's about. It's not about the monetary. It's not about the physical. Really, the festival is to represent enlightenment. Let me get to enlightenment. Let the darkness be dispelled. Let me find that inner truth, that freedom. That's the wealth. The wealth is within that freedom. Find that wealth. Seek out that wealth. See the left-handed blessings as challenging the ego, and actually it's a double-edged sword, you know? Kali chopped off the head of ego, and in that chopping off that head was the liberation. But she's pictured and she's fearful looking. Okay, you have to face your fears. You have to see the blessing, even in those things which are not wonderful that happen in your life. They're there for a reason to shake you up, to wake you up. It's another blessing, a blessing in disguise. Okay, but we have to be willing to face our fears to go into that unknown, unknowable, okay? We have to traverse the fearful things to submit, to surrender, okay? It's not about clinging to an externalized, seeing gods as externalized personas that we're praying to, okay? That's not what it's about. The, the 
these gods and these things are representations. If you see over here, we have the representations. We have Kali over here. Okay. Now this can be fearful to people, you know, if you don't understand what it is. What Kali wants is your lifeblood. Okay? She wants it all. She wants you to give it all up. The death before death, which the Bible speaks of. You have to enter the death before death before you truly have life. Okay? That's really the baptism. Entering the death before death, the ego death. Okay. It's not just a ritualized thing, it's an actual event that takes place. Okay. So yeah. Honor the festival of the lights for what it is. Go towards. Want that liberation. Seek that liberation. Seek the internal wealth not external wealth which comes and goes, which brings with it again suffering. People think, oh, if I only won the lottery. Have you ever looked at what happened to people that win the lottery? They're miserable. They wind up being miserable. Now everybody comes out of the woodworks and wants what they have. Can you give me this? Can you give me that? Can you give me this? Then they have to find a way to manage their money. Now they have more friends than they ever knew they had. People that never wanted to see them ever in their life before. Now all of a sudden they're your best buddies. So people that win a lot of money and win the lottery or those that work really hard and I want to work really hard and have all these toys, then they have to keep to work hard. They don't have time to enjoy them. So it's become another wheel of suffering. Or I want a big mansion. They have a big mansion. How many rooms can you actually live in? So now you've got to have a staff in there to take care of it. So now you have no personal time. You have people in your face all day. So all these things you thought were going to be wonderful wind up being more bondage in the end and bring more suffering. And you go, why am I suffering? They've lost the simplicity. They've been blessed by Lakshmi with wealth. And they got the curse of wealth. <laughs> not to say there's anything inherently wrong with wealth, that's not it. But when it becomes your focal point, you find out many times it doesn't bring the freedom you thought it was going to bring. It has a lot of baggage with it if it's not used in a correct manner. So, Festival of Diwali.